Hi, Bob here with JD Squared. Thanks for tuning in. This is another video in the series showing you how to install and set up your XR6 rotary cutter or the XR12. This particular procedure is identical between both machines. And what we're going to be doing is we need to shift the main control box to the middle of the machine. Now the reason we don't ship it that way is trying to reduce the cost of shipping. So when the machine goes out, it'll go out with a main section, it'll go out with a midsection separate, and then the extension section, and that keeps everything in that 12 to 13 foot long range, reducing the cost of freight dramatically. However, that means that if we want this pre-wired, which it is, you don't have to hook up any wires at all, um, we just got to move this thing down a little bit, we're going to need to shift it. So the way you're going to do that is there's two bolts right here, and I will put a picture in the corner of this right here. We're going to redo, we're going to remove the two bolts that are on this side. There's four bolts there, two of them on this side, we're just going to remove them. Then we're going to go ahead and on this bracket here, which by the way, looks identical to this bracket and it has 12 millimeter bolts. We're going to remove those bolts and then we're going to slide this whole thing down. Now you may want to put some two by fours underneath to hold it up to keep it from just falling. You're going to slide it on down, get somebody to help you and you're going to take this bracket and instead of being bolted to the position that it's at, we're going to bolt it to the right side rib of the midsection. There's three ribs on it. We're going to bolt it on the right side of it, the side I'm pointing at. So we're going to bolt that to that. Now, we're going to take this rib right here, and we're going to come over from the existing brace. We're going to come over two ribs, and we're going to bolt that also down. Now, once we do that, we're going to be able to place this whole thing on top of those two brackets. The other one down there is already attached. It's, it's all good to go. But this one here, we've removed the bolts. So you're going to have to replace them. And there's two empty slots. They're about five and a half, six inches, call it 140, 150 millimeters in from the bolts that you removed. You're going to move, we're going to move this over and you're going to place those bolts through here and you're going to lock, tighten it back down. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to leave us a gap. So we're going to have a cable carrier kind of like hanging off and the distance it's going to be hanging is about that distance right here. So the next step is we're going to take this tray here and we are going to using the supplied bolts on the up end. We're going to go ahead and lay it onto this bracket, bolt it down, and then if you'll notice right here, we've got a plate that's bolted to the bottom of it. This plate is what's going to allow you to reattach this to this bracket right here. So this whole thing will fit right here, and then this tray will be on top of that bracket and you'll bolt it down and voila, we've got an easy way to ship your machine pre-wired and we're good to go. Let me go ahead and take the camera over to where we are currently wiring another RC6 so you can kind of see what I'm talking about on these brackets right here. So uh, let me walk over there and do that. Okay, I've come over and this is how we wire them. We have this green extension right here and basically we, that way it mimics the midsection where we don't have to put the midsection in. So your normal midsection would be there and then you would have your bracket that would bolt, you know, right there. But if you look at what we've done here, this is what I was talking about. So we have the existing holes right there that we're going to remove these right side bolts. We're going to add that one bracket I showed you and we're going to be adding that bracket. So we had the bracket down there and then we added this one here and if you notice that's the holes I was telling you about, the slots right there. So this is what's going to attach to this bracket. That's why we need the leg facing that way. And then underneath here we could reattach this to, you know, to attach these two with that plate underneath it and there you go. So let me just motor around here a little bit so you can kind of get an idea of exactly what we're doing. Now once you do that, that play that we had in, that we have to put in that right there into the machine, that's, that's the machine being wired right there by the way, that's kind of what it looks like in there. Um, we've eliminated that problem so once you straighten this out, everything will sit nice, nice and straight. Anyway, 
Hopefully that was clear enough. It's a pretty simple procedure. Um, check out the other videos, for instance, the videos on how to install the coolant and things like that. We really worked real hard to make the XR series of machine um, as plug and play as we possibly can. Put them down, level it, get it going. And this was one of the things that we did. Anyway, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to email support. Call in is kind of hard nowadays. We're, we've only got one tech guy right now, we, you know, so, you know, hard to get help. But anyway, if you email, they'll be able to help, and then we will call you back personally. Anyway, that's it. I really appreciate you for taking your time out and watching this video. And if we could be of any service to you, just contact us. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day. Bye.